Okay, so just landed here in Palma. I'm gonna go collect my luggage, get a taxi, find the hotel, and see how the day goes from here. I think so. I don't know. Okay, so this is a busy city of Palma here um, from our hotel room. I'm quickly gonna have breakfast. Almost ends. Had a lack of doors. Uh, flew here yesterday from South Africa. And let's get this day going. But I, I was thinking you speak a lot of uh, Italian. Where? Yeah. You. Uh, Spanish. No, no, I can I can understand, but only if they speak slow, because <laughs> <laughs> they speak fast. It's impossible. Yeah, but you know the the Hola, chico. the R and S, R S, R S. In the, what they say. Maybe you can pay me. This is the funniest breakfast I've ever seen. I don't know how that is. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's nice, I think. Also. We'll survive. It's only for one day. You're training in 25 minutes. Yeah, for sure. Hold up. Wait. What do you do with that? We don't what you gonna do? <laughs> because we don't have nothing here. Okay. So Come. our problem today Come. is is that Come. we wanted to ride to the hotel and the staff would have just collected our luggage but it's raining. So, so I don't want to ride there. So man enough and uh, you don't want training. I want training. Look at my bike. It's ready for training outside. Yeah. It's waiting. Yeah. It's it's Alright, I say yes. Good luck Linda if you're watching the vlog. Good luck with your race. And Matteo, Fabro wants to break free. I want to. So, what do you think? Should we cycle to the race or not? Or to the hotel or not? No, 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 no. No, no, no it's no, no, too no. cold. No, 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 no. Hello, hello. Yes, now be vlog somewhere. Okay, the room's almost empty. Yeah. I'm ready to head to Club Robinson. Yes. There's no rain, the rain has left for now. Any rain? Come on. Come no, in. no, no, don't say that. Almost ready to go. But nothing's to pack. I'm first drink some water. Take the bottle if you want, it's clean, right? I clean. Amigo. Hey, Amigo.
Okay, so just arrived at Club Robinson, checked in. Um, I see we've got a new suitcase here. So that's going to be pretty cool. I wonder what we're getting. I'm quite sure. Anyway, um, and then I'll go. Th I'm going to go through that bag with you guys so you can see what's all in there. Okay, so to end this vlog or for this vlog, because it's not today's vlog, I want to go through a few things that I think might be interesting to you guys. Um, as you can see, first of all, our main jerseys have changed. They're black now. Um, I like it. Something different uh, to start the year off in different colors. Sometimes good. Just changes your mindset a little bit. So I'm going to get started. So something uh, we've had is like a wind block vest. So at the front it's really like a thick material uh, which kind of blocks the wind. And then at the back it's really breathable. Um, the only thing I might have disliked a little bit about this is that it can make you sweat a bit if it's not cold enough or windy enough. But it's an under vest and I think it's pretty cool. Then you should have seen by now our jerseys aren't that red anymore. It's kind of blue. Um, I like it. It's graying on me. I like the blue. It's pretty cool. Blue is cool. Whatever. Our units, as you can see, they've customized it a little bit like it's a little bit red. That's pretty cool. You know, it's small detail, which is pretty classy and cool. I like that. Also, you'll see with the helmets, it's not the plain red. Wait, hold on. So, it's not this red anymore. It's this red. I don't know if you can see the difference in that. Uh, I like this red more because they've changed the color of our bikes. If you've seen a picture of our bikes, follow the Katusha Instagram account. You'll see that it's red from the front and then it blends into a matte red to the black to the back. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then also we've got a new sponsor for this year. It's called New Trend. And what I really like about it is the fact that it's gluten free. I'm not going to eat this right now because it's like. I think this probably has like oh, over 500 calories in it and it will probably make me fat if I eat this whole bar now. But it's gluten free, it's cool. Um, they also have this cool jar so it's easy just pop it open and you can drink it. Pretty cool and we're testing it out now and so far it's been pretty good. Like I said, it's all in the detail, like these socks look identical, but you get thicker ones when it's probably more cold. Yeah, so you get different type of socks. Uh, this is really heavy, really light. It's more like a summer sock, more like a winter sock, but kind of almost looks identical. This one's just much more thick, small stuff, like I said. Um, so this is a set of rain booties from CD, which we also have. We've had them last year as well and many years before that. Um, Pretty cool, zips up very easy, so it's not as difficult as Velotos, but it might not keep out the, the water as well as Velotos, but it's good. It's a rain booty, and at least it doesn't keep your shoe from getting muddy and dirty. It's pretty cool. These ones, because I don't really live way north up in Germany anywhere um, from city, they are much thicker. I've never worn them. I actually just have them in my bag but it's really thick and I think like for if it's snowing or anything I've, I've anyway I've never used this before um, but I have it it's a nice thing to have and that's pretty cool and then lastly I'm not going to go through everything uh, maybe later on if you guys have any requests I might go through that um, so I've lost cycling our, our cycling shoes also changed I just don't have them with me then the bike room where all our bikes are um, I've lost a lot of stuff before and the team have never said anything about it because it is replaceable however once they give us our time trial suit so you have to remember that there's a lot of technology that goes into these time trial suits um, they actually said please look well after it so I presume these skin suits are extremely expensive so 
not going to go into detail. So we've got a lot. This is my short sleeve skin suit. Um, obviously, um, what it's really cool about this year is it's been a trend that has been growing quite a lot. Is that you don't have to use pins anymore. So as you can see, it's this plastic thing. So you open up the skin suit. You open up the skin suit from the front. Open it up from the front, as you can see, and then you just basically jam in your number from this side with no pins needed and it's here on the back and it won't flap everywhere in the wind much more aero you'll be saving a lot of watts and it's really tight this skin suit uh, it will squeeze your balls a little bit to be honest sorry for the sensitive listeners out there but this is pretty cool it's really good technology and teams invest shitload of money in these things um, but yeah, and also you'll see yeah, it's got some grip tape, so you don't slide around too much on the saddle too much. Um, I don't know if you know from previous years, Tony Martin always used to put on some tape, and it actually dam damaged his um, bib so much that it actually went straight through once. I guess that must have hurt. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll try and keep you guys up to date with the vlogs, but my training obviously needs to take this priority. I don't always have much time for myself anyway. Plus, I'm married now, so a busy man. But I'll continue sharing content with you guys. So please send any requests, uh, because I'm a bit out of ideas sometimes. Cheers.